Hey guys, it's Luke, your digital concierge here at Gramophone, and today we're going to be taking a look at something really awesome and iconic, and in fact, something that you may remember from a long time ago, the L100 Classic by JBL. Released in 1970, the original L100 by JBL became the best-selling loudspeaker in JBL's company history and it skyrocketed in notoriety when it was featured in the 1978 Maxell ad, you know the one. And now that legend has been resurrected for the modern age in the form of the L100 Classic, and it brings with it that wonderful vintage and nostalgic style, but with modern and updated performance for a new age. So we're gonna dive into the L100 Classic and find out what makes this reborn icon so amazing. Make sure you do not miss out and subscribe to the Gramophone channel so you can keep up with all of our newest product highlights just like this one. We've got a lot of exciting things coming for you. We're going to start at the bottom and work our way up to the top and make it nice and simple. Starting at the bottom, you can see this awesome looking white pulp 12 inch woofer. This thing sounds awesome and it makes plenty of bass energy to fill almost any room. This plays from 40 to 40,000 hertz and at the woofer going to the mid-range, which we'll talk about next, that crosses over at 450 hertz. The mid-range on this speaker is a 5-inch pop driver and this driver has a nice laid-back but not undetailed pleasant and warm sound to it. It crosses over at 3500 hertz into the one inch titanium dome. And this one inch titanium dome is really interesting because unlike most metal tweeters, this one is actually relatively soft sounding. But again, it's not undetailed. Also, you'll notice this is a front ported speaker adding a little bit of extra bass energy into the room and actually complementing the mid range relatively nicely as well. One really cool feature about the L100 Classics that you don't find on many speakers are the L-pad attenuators. You have one for your high frequencies and one for your mid frequencies. So you can run these speakers straight flat or put a little bit of trim into either of those frequency bands to find a sound that you really like. These speakers operate at 4 ohm, so you want to make sure that you have an amplifier that can go low, but they have a 90 decibel sensitivity, so they can get plenty loud and otherwise don't take a ton of power to drive. Now, we can talk about features on paper all day, but how do these things actually sound? What's the experience like? Well, I'm happy to say I was able to spend some quality time with the L100 Classics, and I can tell you they're a wonderful speaker. Much like the original L100s that preceded them, they do still play well at being a more traditional rock and roll speaker, but now this new version definitely brings newer tech to the table that enhances them. Now they come with a little bit of added detail, a little bit of extra nuance. While I wouldn't call them a critical listening speaker, they're still going to give you that nostalgic feeling of what the original was like, but by giving you a little bit more extra information on the side. They are an excellent all-day listening speaker and lend themselves to a lot of genres. And if you're the kind of person that likes to sit back in your chair and just melt into relaxing with your music, this is your speaker. These are 25 inches tall, about 15 inches across, and about 14 inches deep. They weigh a solid but manageable 58 pounds. Also, if you look down, you can see the stands that the L100 Classics sit on. And I do recommend to everyone considering the purchase of the L100 Classics to also purchase the stands. While they are technically optional, really the speaker was designed for them as it elevates their placement to a perfect listening level and prevents the speaker from losing bass energy into the floor. Now getting into the looks at them, they have that perfect vintage and retro look, with the fronts being painted black, the white woofer, an authentic walnut veneer wrapping them, and who can forget the awesome orange Quadrex foam grills. These things are so cool and they're available in three colors. You can get them in a simple black, this bright burnt orange, are an electric blue color. Personally, I really like the blue, but no matter what, they stand out because of this awesome design, and everything blends together for that perfect nostalgia-filled package. JBL did a wonderful job bringing back something iconic and something memorable and making it anew for this day and age. And if you look closely, you can notice how they slapped the JBL logo in right at the bottom. 
for that cherry on the top finishing touch. Being a passive speaker, it's really straightforward. You just run speaker wire to these and they just have two binding posts, a simple positive and a simple negative. Also, if your wire has been terminated in banana plugs, those insert into these very easily. And that's how I'd recommend running it. For around $4,000, the L100 Classics by JBL bring that iconic and nostalgic look back into the home, but do it with even better sound quality this time around. They're perfect for someone who has fond memories of the original, or someone who's really into retro styling and great sound. So guys, make sure you head on over to skybygramophone.com where you can find all kinds of great JBL products, where you can check out securely and receive fast and free shipping right to your door. But for these L100 Classics, make sure you stop by Timonium and check these out, and I highly recommend you do. But don't forget to visit our other showrooms in Columbia and Gaithersburg, Maryland, and we also have our awesome Kitchen Design Center in Hunt Valley, Maryland as well. Also guys, if you have any project ideas on your mind, if you have need to schedule a service request, or you just really want to talk to one of our home theater, hi-fi, or interior design experts, get inspired over at gramophone.com. Also, if you have any other specific questions that you'd like to ask me personally, ask at gramophone.com, and I'd be happy to get back to you. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and drop a comment down below and make sure that you're subscribed to the Gramophone channel for all of your audio and home theater needs. But don't you forget guys, I want to hear from you. What do you think of the L100 Classics and what else do you want to see from me in the future? As always, thank you for watching. Be seeing you.